What's going on YouTube? This is Ryba back at the bench and today I've got another cut or carry knife review. This time looking at the Nafsco Baby Banter. Uh, so this is the uh, green micarta version of the Baby Banter, not the G10 version as you can tell. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's do a size comparison and then we'll talk about the things that I like and dislike about the baby banter. Uh, first up, let's just go with something pretty comparable from the same company. So this is the Nafs Co. Uh, Lander with these incredible rainbow trout uh, scales that I was able to snag. Uh, so you can see baby banter a little bit smaller. Also Spider Co. Rody, one of my favorite knives. Uh, wish that I had kept the orange version I had. Uh, while I am a huge Clemson hater and general, uh, generally dislike orange, um, this is, uh, the, the roadie does look pretty good uh, with the orange. And then finally, because it's my channel and because I think it, it has some similarities, at least, uh, the K-Bar Dozier. So you can see the baby banter is, as the name suggests, pretty small. Uh, it is, however, I think, um, makes up for that with, with a couple things. So... We'll get into that in a second. Uh, quick overview of the knife, uh, Baby Banter. So there, there are, I think as of today, two other sizes. There's the regular full-size Banter and then there's the Big Banter that was just released. Um, this is the uh, Green Micarta version. I was gonna grab the Red G10, um, but I saw this one and figured it wouldn't last too long. I love Green Micarta, generally speaking. Um, and I, I thought this looked pretty sweet with the titanium thumb stud there. Um, and that stonewash blade. So I had to grab this one. Uh, it wasn't a lot more expensive. I can't remember exactly what I paid for it, but um, I thought it looked pretty sweet. Um, you have uh, Nitro V uh, blade steel, which you can see right there. And otherwise, uh, not not too much to, to go over. You can see that this one has already got some, some good use on it. I've only had this for a couple weeks now, but uh, have clearly uh, put it to use. You can see that, uh, which is, is not a bad sign. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and talk about things that I like and dislike about the baby banter. Uh, you know, I haven't tried the G10 version, so I'm gonna be guessing on a few things that I say here. Um, but uh, things that I like about the baby banter. Uh, so number one, I, I mentioned this already, but aesthetics, I think it's a good looking knife. I, I think especially the uh, the micarta version is, is really, really attractive. Um, really good micarta there. Uh, it's got some texture to it. I love kind of that burlapy look. Um, I just think that looks really, really good. Um, but the biggest thing that I like probably is the ergonomics. Um, so, you know, with a knife like this, uh, something that, uh, you know, when you put, the roadie up against it. It's not all that much bigger than the roadie, uh, which is kind of a deep in the pocket, um, you know, traditional slip joint type knife. Um, when you have a knife that's that's really not much uh, bigger than that, ergonomics become incredibly important. And this is where I think the baby banter really, really shines. Uh, so you can see that it's got this uh, forward finger choil here, um, and it's got a, a fairly square uh, back here. Um, but it really, really works, and uh, you, you can really get your whole hand on there. It's very, very comfortable. I don't really have any concern about coming up over that edge like I do with some knives um, that have that finger choil, especially smaller knives that tend to do that. Uh, I have not noticed any issues there. I tend to, to kind of put the, the front part of my finger there anyway, or even do kind of the, the, the pincher grip, pincer grip, pinch grip, I can't remember what it's called. Um, you don't come to my channel for details. Uh, anyway, so I, I find the Ergos to be really, really good, especially that micarta just feels really good, plus that finger choil, it's just very, very comfortable. And I really don't feel like I'm, I'm sacrificing anything in that respect uh, for the smaller size. So that's been really, really sweet, and I think that's, that's a place that the, the knife has really shined. Uh, next up, things that I like, I, I really like the, the overall blade shape here. Uh, nothing special, nothing flashy. Uh, but overall, very practical. Uh, I, I use my knives, um, I carry them, do a lot of like DIY projects and stuff and um, run a business and I'm always cutting open um, packages and, and all that kind of stuff. So 
Um, it does see a, a good bit of use, and I think a, a blade like this is really, really excellent for, for just kind of everyday use. You have a really stout uh, spine here, which I think I just lost focus on, um, but a really, really nice uh, spine of the blade there, not too thin, uh, but then you've got this kind of drop point coming down um, and uh, nice, nice wide belly, big fan of that. Um, and, and so I think that that works very, very well. So overall, uh, just it almost reminds me of like a small fixed blade uh, kind of uh, EDC blade. And so I, I, I do really like that. Other things that I like about the knife, I think the action is really, really good. That was one thing that when I when I got this and it, it showed up, and I saw just how small it was. I was a little bit concerned just um, with the action because a lot of times on a smaller knife, uh, you can get in a situation where it's it's just very awkward to get to that thumb stud because the knife is so small. Um, with this, I really haven't had any issues and I expected to fail the deploy a lot more than I have, um, but it, it really flies out. It's not... Um, you know, it's not like the most forceful opening, but it's incredibly smooth. I can slow roll it uh, like I'm used to doing with my Chris Reeves, um, where I can just kind of, you know, pop it out. Uh, and it's it's really, really nice. So um, I, I was really impressed by that and really impressed with just the smoothness of the action. Uh, so I've really, really liked that as well. As far as blade steel, I, I think I've reviewed maybe one other Nitro V knife in the past. I don't have a ton to add. I don't have too much experience with it. Other than it's kept a very, very sharp edge uh, through a decent amount of use over the past couple weeks, um, I have not noticed any uh, significant uh, dulling on that blade, and I, I haven't touched it up at all. Um, you can see uh, that, that this has already had some use to it, so, uh, so no issues there at all. Um, other things that I like, I think the jimping is very well done. You have a little bit right there um, that'll help you uh, when you're when you're uh, you know when you've got your grip right there but it's not aggressive it's not it's not overly done um, and then you've got a little bit on that spine right there that'll that'll give your your thumb some purchase so that's that's really nice as well um, other things that i like uh, the pocket clip nothing special very standard uh, but i think it it matches the knife fairly well and i i tend to like the deep carry uh, pocket clips um, so I think this one's really, really good. Uh, this is actually going to be one of the, one of the things I, I point out as a difference later when I talk about the lander, but I think this clip actually works uh, a little bit better and, um, and it, it comes in and out of the pocket. I haven't had any issues at all. Sorry about that. There's my dog in the background in the shop with me today. So say hi to Titus. Uh, all right, so uh, I think that's about it for things that I like. Um, thumb stud's really good. Uh, you know, one of those simple things that you, you wish companies uh, could figure out, but uh, th this one's really solid. Uh, so I think that's about it for things that I like. Let me talk for a moment about things that I dislike about the baby banter. Um, really just one primary thing, and I believe that it is probably only an issue with the micarta. Um, I probably will grab a G10 at some point uh, just to test this and maybe do a side-by-side -side review. Um, but one thing I have noticed, uh, while I said that the pocket clip was really, really good, I think works really, really well, I have noticed that because of that micarta, uh, because it's a little bit grippier, um, it, it does kind of stick on the pocket a little bit, and I've, I think it's, it's probably going to tear up my, my pants a little bit. Um, I actually just had to take all of my uh, shorts to my tailor to, to get her to put some material over because I had just totally destroyed uh, those pockets over the years with, with pocket knives. Um, this one I've noticed does have a tendency to stick a little bit more. It feels like it's kind of roughing, roughing up as it, as it goes in and out of the pocket. Uh, and I expect that it, it will wear a little bit faster. I expect that's just an issue with the micarta version and it's not an issue with the G10 version. Um, but like I said, I'm, I'm probably going to, probably going to pick one of those up just to test it, um, in the future. Uh, the only other thing that I could see as a downside, although I have no issues with it, is that it's a fairly square, kind of blocky looking knife uh, to maybe some people may not be their favorite thing. Um, to me, I think aesthetically it looks it looks really nice and I, I don't think that impacts the, uh, the ergos at all. Um, I found it to be an incredibly functional knife, uh, very practical and, and really a joy to use. So cut or carry for me, uh, this one is, is definitely a carry. I, I think I uh, told someone 
that I know that like this is probably the knife, uh, easily my favorite knife that I've reviewed this year. Um, this is probably the knife that has been in the pocket uh, for the longest amount of time since I got into Sabenza's. Like when I first purchased uh, Sabenza and really started carrying it, like that is really all I carried for a year. Um, and then it was really a chore to, to carry something else. This knife had a similar impact to where it just went in the pocket and it, it really didn't come out for uh, maybe like two weeks and, and I still carry it all the time. Um, it's super lightweight and so um, it just it, it just feels appropriate for um, for a lot of days because it's very practical but also uh, kind of easy to carry. Uh, I think it's it's kind of a fidgety knife uh, as well and um, I just think it looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm kind of a sucker for, for green micarta stuff though, so uh, that, that definitely could just be me. But for me, this is, this is a big carry. I'm, I'm a huge fan of this, especially for the price. I think it's a very, very reasonably priced knife, and uh, so I think it's a pretty good deal. Uh, and I also just love, uh, love what's going on over at NAFSCO, uh, so I, I love to support uh, companies like that. Uh, so big, big fan of that. But uh, overall, knife is really excellent, and I would definitely suggest that you check one out. That's it for me today. Uh, thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you next time.